Hi, I'm Ian Mortimer from the Narrabeen Sub Centre. I'm the president here, and um, along with me here today, I've got two of our level two officers. Um, we've only got a small number of volunteers, and as, as any uh, small country town, we do struggle for volunteers. So we're always looking for new people to come on board and join our crew just to assist the community and uh, get out there and help people who aren't so fortunate and have accidents, uh, whether it be just a fall, car accidents or transfers to the RFDS and stuff like that. So we would appreciate anyone who is listening to this to just come in and see what we've got to offer and, and offer the community. So Mick and Debbie, um, yeah, pass it over to you if you'd like to say a few words. Okay. Thanks Morty. Uh, I'm Michael Lethlane or Mr Chick. Uh, and as Ian said, yeah, if there's any volunteers out there that would like to help, much appreciated. We aren't always the first people at the accident, so it would be good for people to learn at least the basic skills of first aid. So, well, we, we're just there to preserve life. And get a little bit and I hope you've got his seatbelt on this fella. Yeah. Um, yeah, so if we can do, uh, come and just learn the basics in first aid. Um, I'm, let's say, level two as yet. I haven't had to attend any accidents, but it hasn't stopped me you know, thinking about, you know, you, at night after football and things like that, you hear cars going around town or leaving places in a hurry and you just you just don't want to be woken up and have to go out because you could have been playing football with that young person or seen them at the swimming pool and things like that so just think before you have a beer or answer the text on the phone who are you going to leave behind like your mum and dad your grandparents your you just your brothers and sisters and any everybody in the community we all know everybody here so just just think before you do something silly kids please mm. yep. yeah, it is hard for um, everyone in the community isn't it because uh, we're all involved we all know each other pretty well but as ambulance officers we we've, we've also got to help the family members so we see firsthand how they do it so it's important for young ones to think about um, getting behind the wheel when they've been drinking um, and we we are quite fortunate in Narrambeen. Uh, we don't have a lot of accidents. Uh, we've uh, had some that really affect us all, but we'd like to think there's, there's not a lot of accidents in Narrambeen. But we, we know that parents need to really set the example. <laughs> I would like to say that if parents thought about driving while t talking on the phone, uh, it's not setting a good example. It's quite often yeah, they've got children in the back seat. Yeah, they the should be taking the lead in making sure they do the right thing and not drink and drive because we want to keep our young, young people safe. There's a lot of young men that have lost their lives. It could be working on farms and that's really hard for all of us to take. As we know, accidents do happen but sometimes they are avoidable. So just take your time and just get there. Another five minutes longer on the road, won't hurt. Fatigue and distractions cause accidents. Mm. Just remember that don't answer your phone. Alcohol and drugs are a big cause of accidents these days. So think before you drink or if you've had a few illicit drugs or even prescription drugs, read the label, they do make you drowsy. So. Drinking drugs, don't, and driving, don't mix. Yeah. And remember, seat belts can save lives and keep off the mobile phone while you're driving. We're the last ones that want to come out and see you after you've had an accident. So just think about the volunteers in the community, whether it be ambulance, police, or the fire and rescue who have to come and cut you out. So just drive safely. Think about others in the community as well.